Hi, I'm Jason Buck. I work with Remax Estate Properties here in Palos Verdes. Our real estate market is very hot. Homes are sometimes selling in less than a week. Now, you may not have all the time to get to all these homes, but I do. And I shoot a virtual tour to help you save time. Hi, I'm Jason Buck. Welcome to the Palos Verdes Broker Open House Tour. Starting our day on Cali Viento. What a great spot this is. We're in the oceanfront complex. We're just below Golden Cove. So you got Trader Joe's and a great fish restaurant, Admiral Risti, Starbucks, some other restaurants, the Subway. And you're in this private community down here with walking trails and access to the cliffs and uh, beautiful, very well-designed homes. This is a single level. And they are just gorgeous. It's a great spot to be. Nothing on in. Gorgeous. Very well done. Front living room, formal. It's got the piano. We have one room up front. They're using it as an office. Most everything back here is always in suite, so this is in suite with a three-quarter bath. And we can look out to the patio. It does have a closet. Here's our dining room. Very nice faux. And it steps right on out to this patio here. Covered patio, it's nice. Went into our big main room. This is beautiful. So here you have the kitchen that functions right on into the family room. It's perfect. Very nice. View outside real quick. It's a nice covered patio here as well. And then you got your pool and uh, ocean view out towards Malibu. We have a big ocean view here, nice patio area. Fireplace, barbecue setup. This is a um, casita. This casita has like the main room here and the bathroom. It's like office it could be, music room. So the other part of this area, they keep this all as a preserve and the natural habitat, so that's what this area is. Great view out there. Nice hot tub pool. A lot of space, too. G'day guys. So, great construction here. Look at the stove, it's amazing. Thermidor, six burner grill. Nice warmer, it's a big island. So you can hang out here and be involved with whoever's hanging out watching the game and the family. There's a walk-in pantry. So now we get to the other side of the home. Takes you into the master. Nice master overlooking the uh, yard. You can see a big fireplace. Nice bath. Standalone shower. Double sinks, direct access to the outside. A nice big tub. What's in this front closet? Wow, huge closet. Oh my God, it's huge. It's a nice laundry set up here. A lot of storage. In the bedroom, like I said, everything in here is in suite, so they all have their own bath.
another room being used as an office. It's part of the closet. Big closet. And a private bath. So now we're coming back to the to the front. This is direct access to the garage. And it's a tandem, so there's storage there. This looks like a three car. Huge water heater. Good setup. Very beautiful property. All right, next stop, Avenida Emilio, 29927. This is a small little cold sack, and we're right off Crest Road, so the Los Verdes Golf Course is right over there. You get your driveway off the other street here, which is nice. And come on in, what a neat architecture. Wow, isn't this cool? Nice big patio here with the meditation pond and so forth. Neat open beam setup. It's really, really unique. Pretty cool. All right, stepping on in. This little entrance here, you go left, and wow, this is something else. A suspended fireplace. That is beautiful. What a neat, neat spot. I like it. Nice couch that wraps around. What a great entertaining area. Come flowing through here into the dining. It's got some neat stuff, too. Move through into the kitchen. This is nice, a great spot. You got your uh, laundry set up here so you're accessible. You could use this as a pantry and so forth. But nice kitchen here. Looks like the windows have been done. Big drawers. Great. Smells really good. Looks good. Very functional. Lots of counter space. And wow, what a neat room this is. So you got your nook here in case you wanted to do that. We have the dining room on the other side. We have some view out the other way. Mountains in the distance. What a neat uh, portrait wall. Beautiful. I love looking onto this garden like this. This is really neat. Down our hallway. Big, big high ceilings. Sounds really good in here too. There's no reverb. Wow. This is a fabric wall. It's very nice. Parquet floor hardwood. Our back bedroom. Still the vault, so there's a lot of headroom. Really nice. Big walk in closet. Really good. Neat how they incorporated the angles here. That's nice bath. Huge tub. Shine on the back. This one has maple hardwood. Keep going down this wing. We have a nice double sink bath. It's a pretty cool bunk bed set up there. And here's our back bedroom. There's a little patio here. This is cool. <laughs> this was a pool, so you could easily convert it back. Next stop, we're over here on Cataluna Place, and this is tucked in the back. Super sweet. Look at that, right down the street. Pretty neat spot here. All right, stepping on in, beautiful, well maintained. Nice. Big open room. Another room over in there. It's dining. Moves out to a patio. Look at that little zen thing there. It's cool. Big, big place here. Double air conditioners. Beautiful kitchen. This is really nice. Tongue groove, maple. 
like how it opens up in the fan there. Patio in the back, some foliage. Nice. Smooth stucco exterior. I love the uh, island bar. This is nice. Got laundry here. I love the backsplash, that is cool. Let's see what's happening next stop. Nice top room. Wow, the rooms are clean. Very nice. Oh, so this one has its own bath. With the skylight. Look at how bright it is. Wow. That's nice. Good color too. I like it. Nice major master. Skimmed and pretty. Wow, this is beautiful. That's super nice. All right, good spot. All right, next stop, Basswood. We're located right across the street from Silver Spool Elementary, which is a really fantastic school. And this home has a view too. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Excuse me. So, coming on in, they did a pretty extensive remodel here, and it is gorgeous. So they've added some square footage up to a little over 1,600 feet, um, and you know you got this fireplace here on this side. You've got your patio on this side. But I love the way they did the kitchen here because you have the bar top looking down the canyon views, and you're still very functional on this side with the grill on top and on. Cabinetry looks really good, tongue and groove, cushion clothes. It's nice. And looking back, you know, this is a great, great area. So we're doing dining up here in the front. You got your family room set up there. Let's take a peek outside. Nice uh, patio area, and you've got the uh, fake grass, so you're water conserving. And then we got the Santa Monica Mountains in the distance, and then some coastline here up to our El Segundo. I can see the chimney, uh, the uh, red and white smokestacks. A lot of room back here, this is cool. Ray's foundation, you know, they did the new hardwood setup. It's all skim ceilings, recessed lighting, super nice. I'll go left first. This is the master with the board. It's all back. Ooh, I love the backs. I like the tile work back there. It's great. Nice countertop. Looks like quartz. Looks like they did the windows too, so they really put some money into this place to make it all updated. Very nice. Well, it's cute, and sweet, great, great property. All right, next stop, 801 Via Canejo, and boy, oh boy. This is something else. So we are right off Via Del Monte where it hits Via Somonte. You can see the three car garage and the garage house in the back and the, this amazing architecture here, the French Chateau. I mean, this is pretty impressive, pretty unique, and it's a huge lot. So we've got a lot of special stuff here. There's La Venta Inn. So it's a very historic spot on the hill. That's where everyone came uh, to find the lots that they wanted to buy back in the 1920s. All right, so stepping on in. Beautiful setup here. I love this tower and the, uh, the roundness and the architecture. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful flooring. Wow, it's incredible. Nice fireplace. What a neat room. This embodies everything historic and gorgeous. So we come out to here, balcony, and we look right straight down to the beach, Redondo Harbor and so forth. Yeah. 
cute bath. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm missing the dad here, so maybe that's where it's lying. I'll go back down. Hey, go, go find it. Yeah. Wow, this bar area opens up to the rest of the house and just keeps going. Wow, this is a beautiful spot here. That's it. Oh, the dining room. Wow. Nice little outdoor space here. Tab. Beautiful, the floors are absolutely gorgeous. And this is an exceptional room. Isn't it? Wow. Just really, really amazing. I don't see this very often. Cabinetry, beautiful tongue and groove, maple line. Nice big stove, very nice. Lots of covered space, lots of space in here. Huge copper sink. And what a great entertaining area as you can look out and get a view from the sink. Nice spot. Love the bar top. And, it works. and then the doors that just open right up to the patio. Take the back way down. This is a spiral staircase here. Beautiful woodwork. I mean, everything seems to be in really good shape. So now down into this room in the back. Could be the master. Lots of storage. Sneaky little spot here. It keeps going around. Okay, we're back in that main bar area going in towards the dining room. There's a butler's pantry here that has a lot of the food stuff. It could be used as a secondary kitchen. There's a bath. The main kitchen's back there. And then there's some bedrooms down here. Really nice work here. It's beautiful. Nice uh, little nooks all over here. Workout room with a bath in the back. Okay, we're now at the front door, moving to the other side. Beautiful room here. It's gorgeous. Comes around to its own bath. Really well done. goes through. <laughs> nice big closet. Some railing. This would be the master. Nice big room. Cute little balcony in the back, and a bay window, and a huge view. It's 
a redwood. A redwood tree in their lot. It's pretty cool. So now we're down in the main grounds. And there is a room off the, uh, the garage I want to check out. These are the grounds here. Pretty neat. Wow. Neat place. Bath down here. Another spiral staircase, mostly, to get you up here. So this is a room above the garage. Pretty neat. It's a cool place. Neat place. We're now at 2741 PV Drive North, but this is an access road, so that we're not really on the drive, it's down below. And you got the amazing view of the open area near the golf course. I love the garden, the way it comes on up into this area here. And this property just went through a pretty extensive remodel. We enter here. Come into this front room. The vault. And it looks out. What a great view. The golf course. It's down to the garage. There's a bedroom here. Newer windows, new bath, all new fixtures around it. Nice. New windows in there, another bedroom. It's a uh, put the laundry in this bedroom. Nice half bath up here. Nice. Ooh, this is what a neat shower. Beautiful. Okay. Nice little area here. Yeah. Make sure the dog stays here. Beautiful setup here. I love how you look down. Great view. Beautiful. Here's a kitchen area, nice countertops, beautiful cabinetry, it's like a gray burl. Beautiful. Gorgeous countertops. This is new glass. Great stuff. It's gas on glass. Is this the same one you had before? Yeah. 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 Nice spot here. Next stop via Alondra. So this faces the canyon. We're in the Valmonte section of Palos Verdes Estates. And this is one of the last roads, but this has the canyon view and it's beautiful and it's been really well fixed up inside it. I like it. So nice entrance here, top floor at the beginning and then the maple floor, beautiful. We come in here to the kitchen. The kitchen's been fixed up. Looks good, stainless appliances. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice cabinetry. Cushion clothes, beautiful countertop. What a neat sink here with the bamboo cutting board that slides. I like that a lot. That's a good feature. And then you're looking straight out through your house to the view. You have a skylight in here for more light. This is a good spot. There's a little balcony table with the barbecue and stuff outside. And then it has a staircase that goes down to the yard. <coughs> nice living room here with the vault. Wow, it's beautiful. And then an awesome canyon view. There's some grass on this property. It's cool. 
It's a good setup. And you got doors we can close everything off. What a neat room this is. Beautiful. I can use this as an office. Let's go around to the main hallway here. So we come back this way. We've got our bath in the back. I love the glass tile. It's gorgeous. Good setup. And then one bedroom up top. Downstairs. Comes right down to this bath here. Double sink, standalone tub, nice tile work. It's beautiful. And a shower with the rock floor. I love the rock floor. Oh, and a bench. I like that bench. And a bedroom over here. They're doing the bunk beds. Beautiful maple floors. And on out to the yard. Here we have a viewing deck. And then there's a trail system down here that takes you throughout all the way down to uh, Empty Saddle Club and other places. Well, not Empty Saddle, but the uh, Ernie Hallett, excuse me. Look at all those horses. That was beautiful. Good setup. All right, last stop today, we're on DeLuna. So this is a street that's off uh, Crest Road above Marymount College. So we're in the Merrill West section of Palos Verdes. And this is an architectural, unique home. Come down through the steps on a deck here. On into this place. Wow. Wow, neat. Cedar wood siding everywhere. Pool in the back. Wow, this is just beautiful here with the glass. Gorgeous. Quaint living room, a big vault. Oh. There's a bedroom. Yeah, tub, shower in the back. This big deck here. The pool. Pretty unique. Good, how's it going? Chilling? Just, Whoops. oh, sorry, babe. Me? Can you do me a favor and tell me what you think about the price? Will do. At 139. This is a nice kitchen. I love how much light comes into this. It's amazing. Beautiful. Really neat how they did this here. Mm -hmm. Architecturally quite different. Pretty neat. Everything opens out to the pool. This is the garage and stuff in the back. Direct access right there to the garage. There's some more bedrooms. I love the woodsy feel. And this could be closed off with the barn door. So you have two rooms or one big open room. Very nice. Thanks a lot for watching. If there's a home that you want to see, please write to me. I'd be happy to show it to you. I have a lot of information that I'd be happy to share. Just give me a call or write me an email. Thanks and make it a great day.